if you know how to play the chords on the piano and you've been playing for a little bit now but you feel like you're stuck like you could still add to it and improve it like your playing seems to be sounding stale let me give you five things you can do right now that will improve your playing significantly Hi, I'm Christine Waters of myfutureisalive.teachable.com where I teach my students how to learn the keyboard in a systematic way so that they can improve their playing significantly or dramatically in a short amount of time. Before I get into the five things you can start doing right now to improve your playing, let me just mention that I have a couple of things in the details below for you. Both are free. The first one is a cheat sheet for all types of chords, which has the scale tones that belong to them so that you can play it in any chord type or key. The second one is just a cheat sheet for the formula for a major scale, which will help you in our first thing you can do to improve your playing right away. That is to practice, practice, practice playing your scales. Now, why do we want to practice playing our scales? First of all, it helps our fingers move around the keyboard a little freer. Number two, it also is our playground. It is where you will find your notes for your intros, your notes for your melodies, and also, as I mentioned, as a playground, it is where you can find the notes that you can just ad lib with in between sections or where there's a musical break before another phrase comes in, wherever you want to play it. The scale is your playground. Number two, know your inversions and use them. Now, some people know how to figure out how to find their first inversion and their second inversion but when it comes to applying it and actually using it they get stuck and they just give up and go back to just playing the regular form of each chord use your inversions number three add dynamics to your playing now there's a lot of different ways to do that but i'll give you a couple of things you can do right away first one is to start by playing individual notes or broken chords and then as you progress to the height of the song you bring it up to playing blocked chords so more notes being played together and then as you leave the climax you go back down and go back to playing individual notes and you will see how that adds some dynamics some story some drama to your playing another way to add dynamics is to go from playing really soft to very loud or from very loud to really soft. See, music is an expression and you can't keep the level of your playing as far as loudness goes in one level. Otherwise, over time, it becomes monotonous. You want to variate you're playing, you want to variate your loudness and your softness so that it comes through as an expression of how you feel. Okay, enough about dynamics. Number four, you would want to learn at least one song a week so that all the head knowledge you know about playing the keyboard, playing chords, playing scales can actually be applied to playing songs, which is the ultimate reason why you learn how to play the keyboard in the first place. Okay, and number five, of course, if you're still stuck, if you have trouble improving by yourself, then it might do you good to utilize the multiple teachers that are available either in your area or online. I am one of them, but I'm not the only one. So you can take either private or group piano lessons or keyboard lessons. You will see that with the help of someone else guiding you and also with someone 
being accountable to, that forces you to learn how to play. So those are the five things you can do to help improve your playing right away. Again, practice your skills, know your inversions, add dynamics to your playing, apply your knowledge to a new song each week, and take piano or keyboard lessons. I hope that was very helpful for you. Don't forget my two gifts below. The first one is a cheat sheet for chords, and the other one is the formula for major scales.